Hi everybody in third and fourth grade. Um, for today's computer class it's going to be slightly different as we're not going to uh, really start a project like we do for most computer classes. We finished with our section on Scratch. Um, for today we're going to talk about a really important topic that starts to come up in third and fourth grade and we talk about a little bit each year and that all has to do with digital citizenship which you see right here in a picture which may sound a little bit unfamiliar but it really all has to do with staying safe online and using electronics, the internet, digital things in our world in positive good ways without a lot of the problems that could possibly be there. Um, now this is something that's important for everybody from little kids, right? Even as young as like pre-K or kindergarten kids all the way up to people, grandparents and great grandparents ages who may use uh, electronics or the digital world and the internet um, because a lot of times we have topics like passwords and choosing good passwords, keeping passwords secret, not giving out personal information, uh, being kind to others and keeping our data safe, not falling for scams or other things that uh, people online may try to use and many other little topics that are really important to everybody in order to use a computer, a phone, a tablet, or anything like that successfully. Now, it's a really, really big topic, and typically if we're in kind of a normal year where we have class in school, we talk about a couple different things to do with it. It's a little more challenging when we're separate at, and at home, but we are going to try to do that this week with first watching a really short video that's only about three minutes long, and then also... Um, going and using a tool that Google has made that makes uh, playing kind of a, a game into learning a little bit about the staying safe online and digital citizenship. So first for our video that we're going to take a look at right now, um, I'm going to not talk and this is just about three minutes long. So let's go ahead and take a look. Today is my birthday. I'm going to post a story. Let's meet outside school. Happy birthday! Selfie? Yeah! Hey guys, let's shoot some hoops! Basketball court at four. I'll be waiting for you at my place to celebrate. This is my address and my phone number. Happy birthday, David! You're very popular, aren't you? You have lots of friends. You use chats and social media all the time. They know everything about you. What you like, when your birthday is, who your friends are, the sport you play. But they could also know your phone number and where you live. Have you ever thought that what you share online could be read by someone that is not so much of a friend? Always remember to take great care with the personal information and photos that you share online. Share with care. Now let's go celebrate. Your friends are waiting for you. Remember, pictures and information that you post or send can be easily reshared by others so they could remain online for a very long time. Be careful when posting. Don't share phone numbers, addresses, or personal details. This information could be misused by others. Always check your privacy settings of the apps you use. It's important to know what people can see or who can contact you. When signing into a website or social media, ask an adult for help and advice. 
Choose a difficult password and share it only with your parents. Take great care with everything you share online. If you have any doubts, always ask an adult for help. You... Alright, so that video gave us uh, some uh, tips or kind of a different way of hearing about staying safe online, a topic that's really important, and digital citizenship. Now, we're going to take a look very quickly at a website, and then for the rest of the time today, I want you guys to go on and give this website a try. Um, it is called Google's Interland. Right now, I just typed in a search and I'm going to get there. I've given you guys a link in Google Classroom and there's also a link to it through Porta Portal. But Google Interland is something that Google made to try to teach kids some of the basics. And I'm going to turn the sound down just a little bit here. Uh, but the basics about staying safe online that they've divided up into four different categories. So when you first go to the site, it gives you a little introduction and they made it so that it actually is really cool looking um, and it's all about being internet awesome so once I click on let's do this it gives me these four different lands now um, I've actually seen it start on a couple different ones I think it's a, a little bit random or it changes and it doesn't matter you don't have to go through in order one two three four you can really go around in any order but it's got four different things mindful mountain which is about sharing things with care and thinking about what you post what you share what you send online right we use these arrow keys and if you press the left or the right it'll just go around in a circle either way so you really can't do it wrong but this gets to the second one the tower of treasure and it's all about keeping your secrets things like passwords and personal information secure next one I'll show you is Kind Kingdom, where it says it's cool to be kind, right? All about kindness, getting along with others, not hurting others online, or uh, doing things where you yourself are hurt. And then last but not least, Reality River, right? Not falling for things that are fake, or things that could trick you, or things that people do intentionally to cause problems online. So basically, each one of these worlds is a little bit of information, a little bit of practice, a little bit of decision making or thinking about those different topics about digital citizenship and being safe online. Now, the last thing I'll say, and then I want to keep the video shorter and give you guys time, is that each one of them will give you basic instructions on how to, like I said, it's set up like a game, so how to move your character or what you have to do to get to the next section or your tasks that you need to complete and each one's a little different. Here I'll just do for a second Kind Kingdom where once you click it and it loads, um, you go through and Vibes of all kinds are contagious. It says vibes of all kind uh, vibes of all kinds are contagious. In the sunniest right? corner of town, troublemakers are, trouble spreading are spreading negativity everywhere. Negativity everywhere. Block and report troublemakers, and report to, stop troublemakers to stop their takeover and be kind, and be kind, to, kind to other internet. Get to the top of the kingdom get to by, the top spreading of the good kingdom vibes by spreading good and vibes the bad. and mixing the bad. So it tells us that we use our arrow keys, right? Send I'm kindness to internet to need things, a little love. Like the uh, hearts that we just saw. I'm going and giving out some of the kindness tokens that it gives you. Um, I will tell you one thing I discovered in this one. It's surprising that Google made this mistake, but for me, it says to press the space bar to jump, but it actually doesn't work unless I press the up arrow. But that's pretty, pretty easy to figure out. And I want to jump to each of these sections, right? Giving out some of these kindness tokens as I go. And as I use my basic controls that I know all of you guys have seen before with our arrow keys and our space bar, we want to navigate around the level and see if we can perform those different tasks to make it to the top. It gives you a little indicator over here about your score and how many of the current tasks that you finished, also how many points you've gotten out of the total number. And by going all the way through, and it only takes, if I was, if I was doing the complete thing, it would probably take about five minutes, maybe even less you really can't get hurt or die or do it or do it uh, in a way that's going to be a problem um, but you try to reach the top of the mountain or the end and get the best score you can to practice a little bit about that being kind online right 
And so this is the theme of this kingdom, but then I showed you each of those others that you could uh, either go back or finish once you finish this level and try the other ones. So that's what I am hoping that you guys will do today. You guys will spend your time doing in computer class um, and that you enjoy it because Google really put a lot of work into making it so that it's fun, so that it's like a game for you to try out and play. All right, everybody, let me know if there's anything you need and I will see you next week.